Hello folks and welcome. So I have a video for you on MX Linux today, the XFCE desktop. And it's a short video. And um, none of my videos, by the way, are under two minutes, um, but they all have chapters and timelines on them. And I have a lot of different subjects on my new YouTube channel. My current videos, I think, are up to about 100. My previous YouTube channel had about 450. So with that said, uh, again, my videos have chapters or timelines. Uh, you can also uh, change the video resolution if you click your gearbox on your player. And also watch my videos on the big screen if you like, if you got the YouTube app on your smart TVs. But uh, I also encourage that you subscribe and read my about section. One of the comments that I make is Linux is for any age. It's Linux for, is for everybody. Also in my community tab, there are some tips on how to do keyword searches. So as my library grows and it's already up to 100, it's easier to use those kind of tools to search for content and information. My previous channel had 450 videos, so that tool became really an invaluable tool to a lot of my older subscribers. Anyways, folks, welcome. So the first I'm going to talk about is system information. And a subscriber asked me about tiling. So that's what this video is about today. This is MX. My fictitious user for today is Bob. So we're talking about the XFCE distribution and for MX Linux, and I'm going to talk about tiling. So uh, let me first get this out of the way. You can always resize icons on the fly, doing it my way if you like. You can do, use it the old fashioned way too. All I'm doing here is holding down the control key with my left hand while using my right hand with a standard computer mouse with a scroll wheel on it to run this up and down. If you have a laptop, you can still depress the control key and I believe you use two fingers on a touchpad to do the same thing. Uh, if not, you can just experiment. I haven't really experimented with that on this distribution, but it does work on some others because I have an older laptop with a touchpad on it. All right, with that said, I'm gonna talk about tiling today. Now let's talk about your keyboard, for instance. Some people have this key and some people may not. I have a start button. Some people call it the uh, super key. It's normally found in between your control and alt key. Some keyboards have two of these. But I'm gonna depress that super key or start key and hold it down while using my arrows that go up, down, and right, left to move this around. Tiling. So that subscriber was asking me about the usage of that. I'm assuming that's what he meant. So anyways, that's why I'm producing this short video. So as I open up another box, um, not everything is uh, you know, gonna work exactly the way I'm pointing to, but a lot of things do. So now I have two of these. So click in whichever one you're, you're working with, and you can of course always resize these. So holding down that super or start key, up, down, right, left, or left, right, left, right, up, down. So now you can get two boxes of these. And of course you can resize them to your heart's content too, you know, by resizing these boxes. So again, when you're dealing with uh, um, two boxes possibly, even if you create another uh, window, for instance, um, these are also the same thing. And if I were to uh, transfer files from, let's say my download folder into my documents, for instance, you can use the same method here. Holding down the super key, up, down, right, left. And then you can close all these also by using another keyboard command as a tip, Alt F4, Alt F4. All right, short and sweet video for you to folks today, and uh, I'll say thank you for watching.